Hey guys, Doubt here. Have you ever thought about taking a character in Deadlock and forcing them to play melee or as a tank for no reason at all other than you think it'd be fun? Well, I've honestly been trying to do that with Ivy for a little while now, and I've had a few different ideas about what to do for it. And this build, this one right here is the one that's been working the best for me. But if you don't believe me, here's some clips from when I wasn't actively recording my voice and just playing the game and trying stuff out. I will give a little disclaimer and say that this build doesn't do the very most damage compared to other builds. You really just build into tank and melee early on with a little bit of gun damage. But then later on in the game, we start to build spirit damage and it turns online. And since it's a melee build, you definitely need to be a little bit careful about charging up the heavies. You either want to bait out the pairs if people are doing that or just try to hit them with a late melee. But if you want to just go and be in the center of a fight and not really care about what else is going on and just be pushing, you're going in, this is the build for you. I, I should have killed this Mirage here. He should have been dead. I'm trash. Anyway, this build even gives you a pretty fun late item in Colossus. You just take a bunch of reduced damage and you can go in and I just like dove in 1v4 here and was able to kill the Wraith because I proc Colossus and yeah. Sadly, we didn't get out. It was kind of close-ish though, not really. But the absolute best part of this build is that since you're playing Ivy, you can fly across the map with your ultimate and save your whole team with your silences and your stuns. And since you're tanky, you could just be in there doing stuff and hopefully still get out anyway. All right, so here is the build and I'm not gonna go over every little detail of it, but basically, at the start of the game, we're going to get monster rounds and basic mag because those are probably Ivy's best starting gun items. And then we're just going to go into punching. We want spirit strike to do more damage. Melee lifesteal to get some more healing. And then I just get extra stam and extra charge just as a safety item and something to get more bombas because we're going to want those later on in the build. For the mid game, we're going to get our melee charge. Slowing Hex to be really annoying and stop people from getting away, especially people like Wraith and Pocket who have really insane movement abilities, but you don't want them to be able to run away from us. And this just gives us more melee distance as well with our heavy melee. Uh, if you've never used melee charge, for example, let's just start it from here. So I'm on the line and we get to here. That's my foot. Allow me to stay strong, With melee buddy. charge. We're on the line again. That's my foot. It basically doubles the distance, which is pretty awesome. Um, you could actually use that pretty easily to like mess up people with parries and stuff too. Like they think you're going to go in, but you're not. And then you go in. Um, kinetic dash is another great item. It just helps us to conserve more stamina whenever we use a dash dump It saves one and then it goes on cooldown and then whenever this Ends it stops going in a circle. We'll be able to get another free dash jump So it's just one stamina and we're good to go And then we're gonna get superior stamina So basically at this point in the build We have a ton of movement because we're starting off with four stamina because we're playing Ivy anyway. We have melee charge for the longer uh, punches and we have kinetic dash to be able to move around. So we're going to be able to go in and out of fights really well at this point. But the problem is we're not tanky yet. The one good part is usually our three is fully leveled. Roughly around this point in the game. If not, it's about to be. And once this is fully leveled, we get a ton of healing from our three. It also gives us our invulnerable and melee lifesteal is definitely helping too. Um, if you're struggling in the early, early game, I do have these little lane sustain options. I would definitely recommend healing right or extra regen in the majority of matchups because Ivy doesn't necessarily have the best laning phase. 
Um, extra health if you're winning and you just want some more damage. But extra regen and healing rate are definitely better in most situations. And then we're going to pick up Life Strike next. Life Strike is, again, very important for this build because we're building around our melees. This makes it to where we heal a ton from every punch, even if it's just a little light attack. And it's also going to be slowing the movement speed of anybody we hit with our melees, which is really great. Sometimes I will delay buying this to get Divine Barrier and Healing Booster first. Just... You know where to find me. Take it as you need it, basically. Healing booster is really great for our three specifically. It also helps with our two, but it's mostly for our three, so we could heal for like 700 health every time we use it. Divine barrier gives us two shields. It also gives us movement speed, so we can move around a bit faster too. Um, so then we get life strike, and then moving into the late game, it, you'll sort of notice a trend here. It's majority spirit items. The idea for the late game of this build is you're going to want to get Mystic Slow. And hopefully at this point you'll have a couple flex slots at least. Get superior duration on your one, superior cooldown on your three. That's pretty that's not normal. Usually you're going to put spirit cooldown on either your fly, so you have that more often, or on your kudzu bomb so you can spam them. But I'm putting them on my three for a very important reason, and improved reach is going to go on our one. These are also really good items. It just... I feel like I buy these more often because they help us get here easier. Alchemical fire is just great in general because it helps you to... It'll be easier just to do it. When this is on the ground, all of our bullet damage is increased. So even if you don't have the best um, bullet items, the best weapon at this point in the game, wherever I can hover for our weapon, it's still helping out a lot. So like, for example, that's 900 damage with alchemical. That's instantly 1100. So it's just a 200 damage increase without anything really making our gun better. Um, that's the reason I picked that up. It also just helps the idea of the build because we're wanting to put this down and Mystic Slow is going to be keeping everyone in it and reducing their fire rate. So like when they're in this, we have our slowing hex, we can be fighting, we can be punching, we could just be doing whatever and then they get out of it and then we throw another one and then we keep going. We just want to keep people slowed and in one or two spots. And if we have our chemical fire, that's just adding some more damage to it. Um, something I didn't talk about with melee charge, and probably should have, is whenever we use a heavy melee with it, we get 100% bonus ammo. That's why I have 108 out of 47 right now, because it basically just doubles my ammo. So like, we can keep shooting for a pretty decent amount of time. Someone comes in on us, we try to stun them. If we get the stun on them, we can punch them and then we just keep going. But that's basically the entire idea for the build. Um, heal Bane's also very important. Toxic Bullets works too, just depends on what you wanna do. Um, usually by this point in the game, I'm gonna start to get rid of like Spirit Strike and Divine Barrier and start to pick up my other big items like Colossus. You're the and the refresher the I would probably end up dropping slowing hex for honestly and then escalating exposure if we have the extra charge and we need it like if we already upgraded Talk this that we could just get rid of our uh, slowing hex at this point in the game it's not the most it's still useful but it's not the most necessarily important. And then the reason I just have Titanic and Point Blank here is because this it. upgrades and we can get rid of monster rounds for Point Blank if we want it. The reason for Point Blank is because we want to be in close range anyway since we're building relatively tanky. And Titanic just builds out from basic mag which seems easy it also just gives us a ton of ammo so whenever we do this we have like 200 bullets basically and we could just shoot this forever especially without chemical fire it really hurts people 
um yeah that's the majority of it so we're building relatively punchy early on and then we're turning into a tank later and one thing that i don't have on here is heal bane so like you can get rid of like kinetic dash for that or honestly any of these weapon items you could probably get rid of melee charge at some point i just typically do kinetic dash because the whole point of it is to sort of help me out in the early game but then in the late game like we already have our um colossus and other things and we have a ton of stamina anyway so we shouldn't necessarily need it so yeah hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and i hope to see you next time peace all right hey guys dealt here we're gonna be playing ivy today again because uh she's my favorite character in the game but we're doing something a bit different we're not focusing on getting the most damage and instead i just want to be punching people stop shooting me oops no reason to slide there keep him out of being able to do anything i don't know why he went down there and i also shouldn't have taken my two there but it's fine i didn't put any points in anything yet all right good as soon as i get my three i'm leveling it i um just immediately used my two because it gave me some sustain against the infernus but it's not exactly what we were looking for there this paradox is playing so far back dude allow me to ah, the old new york tuxedo All right. i still can't level that it's fine we need to move as Try to heal on up with our two since we have it. If he shoots that, I'm going to be so sad. I think Infernus is to the left. Yeah. Get our monster rounds to try to clear stuff a bit easier. Got him. Nice. Easy money, kinda. It was, it was slightly less than easy, but. Thank you. We have our three now. All right. Hi. You know what would suck for you? if you lost some of this oh that didn't stun him i guess i went the wrong way i just dead to the burn no Don't know why he didn't chase me. Maybe he thought I was dead to the burn too. But we will take that. I definitely lost some farm doing that uh, little sideways run, but... Get our spirit strike and our melee life still going too. Got to do what we can here. I know I'm low, but I do have my three. All right, since they're fully backing up, I'm just going to do this and run to mid. If he clears the wave while it's up there, it's fine. If he just backs up, then this is free stuff for me.
Just wanted to make sure I got that. I got this. Grab our basic mag now. Okay. That wasn't good. For a second point into our three. Oh, he got the parry off in time. I thought that I timed it to where he couldn't. Sad. Oh well. That should have been a kill there. I should have just did a light melee. I thought that I did it quickly enough. Got him back. I'm gonna see if there's any world where we can rotate to purple here. He's full health, but. Oh, I missed that. I failed. And he backed up, so it's fine. Even if I hit it, it wouldn't have probably transitioned into anything, so maybe that was a bad room in general, but I was hoping that we could make something work. he was gonna back up more than he did oh well all right i'm gonna grab our melee charge now and our extra charge all the charges definitely need to be careful about that um gun stacking up on me for mirage Should have maybe been looking at green a little closer to that's sad that it's gone Our offer is under attack. All right. let's get back over to blue just give them a little bit of safety for a second We're punching. I need to be careful of a stacking three. We're punching. I'm with you. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, that was bad. Get me out of there, dude. All right, try to appeal for her. She was full health. I didn't need to appeal for her. Hey, is this 
Um, green lane. Somebody, please. Grab our slowing hex now. Try to get tiny bits of healing from that. Oh, I didn't get the slowing hex in time, so he got his uh, dash off. A little sad, but it's fine. Was not expecting to take that much damage, but it's fine. All right. Now that we have our three fully leveled, we're healing a ton. And from here, I'm probably going to level this all the way and then level my one. I might put one early point into it just so I get three charges for doing stuff like this and clearing lanes. Guys, our, our, our yellow walker. Not the walker this early. Alright, something that this build does pretty well too, since you have so much healing, is split pushing. You can get out of a lot of situations just because you're Ivy. And you have an extra stamina compared to other people. Don't mind that punch, please. Don't talk about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. And there are three people showing on blue, so this might be fine. I'm dead. Remember when I said you can get out of things? Well, now we have kinetic dash, so we can. He didn't even fully level his burrow. How did he reach me? Oh, well. Our team's doing good. That's fine. The team's doing good. We're doing good. I just need to not, um, in a way, the very slight lead that I have on most of them. He is very strong. Didn't honestly realize that, so fair enough. push this up. I'm gonna go see if we could gank Mo and Krill here, maybe. Oh, I thought Lash was on our team, dude. <laughs> got out of there pretty quick it's okay we did too you go that way Should have did a light melee. Oh well. Don't think we needed that yet, but I'll take it, I guess. All 
Alright, let's get out of that. I might... I need to be going to yellow, honestly, but... Yeah, we're rotating. He's going to yellow? Uh, he's getting green, maybe? Punch off. Another punch off. Take that out. Alright. And honestly, with this build, we are not doing the most damage. What we are doing is uh staying alive forever if you can't tell by uh the gameplay so far seeing if she would maybe step out there i think we leave now yeah cool team is agreeing I'm gonna get life strike, divine barrier, healing booster, and suppressor. Cold front isn't needed, but it is just a, another like fun active item you could put on. You could also just grab other ones like um, decay and silence glyph, depending on the game. Like if there's a big healer or a lady geist that you're wanting to silence, but. We'll be buying Healbane or Toxic Bullets at some point, so it's not really the most required. Silence Glyph would be more so like a actual thing to counter. Gonna head over to purple here. See if we could help this out. It looks like everyone is still full health, sadly. Messed that up. Oh well. him down time to get the walker bone curl is pushing a green walker so we need to make sure we get this where did he go not that way hey look there's a walker here hey look there's a haze here all right it teams out I'm out too. Our four is now all the way leveled, which means it's a silence. And our one is starting to be what we're working on. Because this late game build does somewhat turn into spirit build. Just because the idea of it is we're going to be standing in our kudzu, slowing people, dealing damage. I um, didn't mean to pick him up, but whatever. Get the seven some farm, I guess. And I'm gonna rotate back over to purple. Rip. He's doing that, there you go. Um, instead of purple, I'm just gonna use that to try to get the blue quicker because Mo and Curl's pushing up against our dynamo. There's a lash there too. Seems fine. Our team is very all over the place, but I feel like that's pretty normal in a game. In a game of deadlock. I wanted to make sure they weren't dying over on blue. Can we 
defend the urn. Flights on cooldown. Anyone? The longest stuns that didn't matter. Good work. Exquisite work, Pat. gonna heal up real quick was hoping to grab lash with that all right we use our watchers covenant to try to heal up some we're just chilling dude dynamo had a really good ult there i meant what i said Our team is uh, backing up and I wasn't really expecting that. But it's fine, we're playing tanky boy. Get me out of that, dude. York's about to get him. We have 7k, we should really be trying to leave here. I didn't get the three off in time. Oh well. Let's get our spear stamina and our chemical fire is really good in this build because it helps out your gun damage. I think I'm just going to skip these items this time though and try to go straight into superior cooldown on my three. Because that just keeps me alive even further. I think it was a 23 second cooldown before that. Yeah, so it drops it by eight seconds. And with how long we've been in these fights, that should help out a lot. Usually with Ivy, you do put that on your four or your one. But I'm just trying something out here with um tank Ivy, I guess is what we can call it. It's just the Ivy can do everything build. By the end of the game, once you get like Titanic, Alchemical, and these, you're doing a ton of damage anyway, while still also being tanky, which is really nice. Our blue walker is under attack. Where am I going? Not that way. My own curls here. Crazy. I don't. I was gonna say I don't think I die here, and then Lash came in. That was really bad. That was not how um I was wanting that to go at all. I was just not paying attention. So I could be buying like spirit armor or something but i think getting like heal bane and just my core idol so probably just going to be better for me in general heal bane is going to be really good against all of them which is why i'm probably going to buy it next item i was just trying to make sure we got everything we needed first i think we have it considering how the team fights were going Bone Krill was just on yellow. It looks like he's rotating over, but I'm going to try to clear these real quick. I don't want to stay too long, so I don't want that to happen again, though. Warning. Your 
Your mind will be honed. He does have his ultimate again already. Ivy. Hello? Got to drop him over here. Well, this is going swimmingly. I honestly thought it was one of the other teammates asking me at first, which is why I did that so awkwardly, but um, yeah. We need a wave if we're doing this. Good job, Dynamo. That did zero damage because tornado is fun. You don't stun me. No, sir. All right, we're just pushing in again. We have our ultimate back up. See if we can get a silence here. Oh god. <laughs> A little too aggressive. Oh well. You are impressive as always. Little too aggressive. But if we get some more damage honestly, if we get some more damage we'll probably kill there. I don't know if I won this is probably just better in general. Our team's covering our purple walker right now, so I'm just gonna get... They didn't get to it in time. Oh well. I'm just gonna get these camps going. Is this up? No. Our team is fighting again. Ready to fly? There is a mirage here. He missed every shot. That's completely fine with me. Grab this haze real quick. That's one haze dead. Looks like they're fighting the goo man over here. They don't need my help, but I'm running back anyway. This should be GG. Maybe. I'm stuck here. Gotta heal on up with that. Oh, okay. That would have been a dead man there too. That was pretty fun. GG. So again, with this build, I'm not expecting to have like top damage or anything. We didn't do the most. The idea is we just want to be pretty tanky. And this guy killed. You did so good on Dynamo. The idea is we just want to be as tanky as possible and just get in there and get active for the team. And for the most part, it's worked out pretty well. We're not getting the most kills. We're not getting the most damage, but we are really helping out with our stuns, our silences. We're playing a support character. We're just building them to be a bit tankier than usual. Healing booster is a pretty normal support thing, and it makes our three heal a ton. Life Strike just gives us a little bit more healing and some melee damage. So yeah, I do definitely think this is nice as like early game Ivy. It doesn't necessarily scale the best and that's why I have a ton of spirit items in the late game. 
And you can start to get rid of things like extra regen and your divine barrier for like Colossus and escalating exposure. But I'll also eventually get rid of Spirit Strike. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the game and hope to see you next time. Peace.